Nasty looking worm is making its way through Florida just a year after this invasive species entered our state. Now local pest control and the FWC confirming a report of the New Guinea flatworm found in Loxahatchee. But now Zalana Quillen joining us here in the newsroom with details on this. Zalana. Well, Shannon, so many people are worried about it. A rumor even sparked on the internet saying that you should call 911 if you see one. Obviously, Snopes.com debunking it, but the FWC says that's not true. And with reports of the worm throughout Palm Beach County and the state, you do need to be careful. Jeannie Tilford with Toad Busters is usually hunting for frogs. Thousands of invasive species here. But lately, she's been dealing with another nuisance. I am holding two New Guinea flatworms. She found several of them at her friend's house. Yes, they are pretty gross. And they have toxic slime that if you get it on your skin, it will actually cause an allergic reaction. It burns. The flatworm comes from the South Pacific. Last year, it somehow slithered into Miami through plant shipments. When we get plants from nurseries from, say, Miami, which is a big port of entry, those plants, uh, the, the flatworms come in on the plants, you put the plant in your garden, and you've now transplanted an invasive species into your area. Jamie Vasquez with Tropical Pest Control told me it's the same species that transmits the deadly rat lung worm parasite. Rodent infestation occurs in your house, and they chew through the AC vents through your ducts. They can um, defecate in the vents, and then that can transmit to a human also. So keep an eye on your kids and pets in the yard, and when your kids come inside, make sure they wash their hands. It's real easy to, you know, be working in the garden, not wash your hands, and have contact with eggs of this species. The worms like to hide in areas with lots of moisture. Now experts say there is one surefire way to get rid of the flatworm and that's using boiling water. You're killing the worm and you're you're drying it up. While FWC tracks its spread, Florida and Hawaii are so far the only states with the worm. They can mate on their own. <laughs> they don't need much, so, so they're um, resilient. <laughs> So be sure to check your yard, check the sides of your house. And if you do find a flatworm, just take a picture and you can submit it to this website. It's I've got one.com. FWC also has a map where you can see where the flatworm has been spotted throughout the state of Florida. For the now South Florida, I'm Alana Quillen.